Hey guys, Greg here. I want to talk about some music documentaries, three jazz documentaries that are coming out or about to be coming out. I'm shooting extreme close up here because I want you to be able to see my phone because I'm going to show you a couple pictures. Um, so, three jazz documentaries. Blue Note Records, Beyond the Notes. Uh, I just want to announce that they've announced some more dates, so I'm going to share those with you. I went to see this a couple weeks ago. Where's the photo of me and Herbie here? Yeah. I went to see this a couple of weeks ago in Pasadena. No, where was it? Glendale. Glendale, California. Got to meet Herbie Hancock. Just a surprise coincidence. Blue Note, Beyond the Notes. Uh, just played yesterday right up the street here in Topanga Canyon at some weird little bar called Froggies as part of the Topanga Film Festival. Not very well known or well promoted film festival. But that was a one-time showing. So, here are the new dates that have been. Come on, come on, focus. Oh, that's a slow focus. Um, I got to read this to you guys. So please go to Instagram and follow Blue Note Records Film to get these updates. A nice picture of McCoy Tyner, by the way. Uh, let's see, it's playing in San Francisco until the 22nd and San Rafael, California. Pasadena today and tomorrow only, August 17th and 18th. Albuquerque, August 19th. I'll read you the cities, okay? You gotta look it up yourself. Cincinnati, Boulder, Colorado. Atlanta, Georgia, Phoenix, Boston, Roanoke, Cleveland, Bellingham, Ta Tallahassee, and Louisville. So those dates are August and September. Those are one or two night showings for the most part. So you better look it up in your local town and jump on it. But please follow Blue Note Records Film to get uh, the latest information. Now, another big jazz documentary. It's opening this week, August 23rd. It's called Miles Davis, Birth of the Cool. Come on, focus. Miles Davis, Birth of the Cool. That's opening this week in New York. I don't think they've announced other dates as to when it's coming to LA or other cities. Might depend on how how well received the film is, I guess. I don't know. Um, I, the trailer for this movie is available online. You can watch it. It's got a lot of the celebrity jazz people that you would expect talking about it. Um, I don't know, Carlos Santana is one of the more famous people. Um, anyway, check out the trailer. I'll drop that link below. A couple of weird things about this movie. The main weird thing. You guys know what Miles Davis sounds like when he talks? He had some kind of injury to his vocal cords. He talks like this. Yeah, I play the tune and yeah, you can't understand what the hell he's talking about. So, um, they actually have a narrator an actor doing the voice of Miles throughout this movie. So that's kind of a risky, controversial choice. Uh, see what you think. I don't think the guy's impression of Miles is perfect. It's it's okay. Any better than what I'm doing right now. That's what he sounds like. It's hard to hear. It's hard to understand what Miles is saying anyway. Uh, so keep your eye out for that. Um, and check out their Instagram account to get the latest updates. Miles Davis Movie is the Instagram account. I went to their Instagram account, just like I went to the Blue Note Instagram account and said, you guys have no followers and you guys aren't promoting this very well. Um, you got to use hashtag jazz if you want people who know about jazz to find your movie. Because if you put hashtag Miles Davis Movie, nobody's looking for that because nobody's heard of your movie. Um, okay, another jazz documentary is coming out, Wayne Shorter, it's called Wayne Shorter Zero Gravity. It's listed as coming out in 2019, I see no data about it, okay. This documentary does not even have its own Instagram account. They have a Facebook account which has not been updated. They have a website called WayneShorterDoc.com. It is empty. Here's a picture of their great website. Coming soon. No data on our on our website. Coming soon. When? It's 
2019 is almost over. When is it coming? Brave new pictures. Give me a break, you guys. Um, this is a photo of Don Was and Herbie Hancock watching the movie. I think that's in Quincy Jones' house. So this popped up on my Instagram because I follow a lot of jazz stuff on Instagram. Don Was, president of Blue Note, and Herbie Hancock, both of whom I've met. That's my son with Don Was at a, come on, focus, please focus. That's my son with Don Was. Just think I'm going to focus. That's my son. I want you to see this. Don Was and my son. Uh, Don Was was sitting behind me at a concert uh, downtown L.A. So I went and asked to get his picture taken. Um, where was I? The Wayne Shorter documentary. Okay. No dates have been announced. They have no Instagram account. They have a website that's dysfunctional. I went to, to the director. I found her Instagram account. What's her name? Dorsey Alsavi, Al something like that. Very young lady. She has an Instagram account that has not been updated in four or five years. There's actually photos of her on there in, Win in Wayne Shorter's house. In the filming of the documentary, she hasn't updated in four years. She hasn't said a thing about this great movie that supposedly she's devoted her, you know, her time and put her soul into. Um, I'm going to just say this to you, documentary folks. I mean, documentary making is, it is a labor of love. There's not a lot of money in it. Uh, the, the Wayne Shorter one was, was based on a, a, a GoFundMe that they raised $300,000, which is great. But then you got to promote the thing and you got to understand how to use social media to promote it. Instagram is free. You know how difficult Instagram is to use? If you don't understand, ask an 11 year old. It's not that hard, okay? <laughs> and people of all ages are using Instagram, even old guys like me. Facebook skews a lot older. Facebook, you can advertise on for free also. And Instagram, Instagram is much bigger, much quicker hits because it's the way people follow hashtags. So, for example, I'm going to prove this to you that Instagram advertising works and it's free. I follow a lot of different music people on Instagram. By the way, my Instagram account, follow me, GK Ultra. GK underscore Ultra. GK is my initials. GK Ultra. Sounds like something else K Ultra, if you know what that is. If you're very astute. Nothing to do with music. I discovered a music documentary on Instagram. Let's see, what year was this? couple years ago called score it was about composers who do film scores so scrolling through Instagram one on Friday afternoon hey this movie score is gonna be playing one time or you know a couple dates right down the road to the Sherman Oaks Galleria go online buy tickets take my son and my son wanted to go because he got to meet one of the stars of the documentary again we'll spend all day focusing Come on, focus. Focus. That's my son hanging out with Mark Mothersbaugh of Devo, who's now a major uh, film score composer. Um, so, Instagram advertising works. It gets, it raises awareness of uh, whatever you're doing. And it's really, it's great for target marketing. You know, you're marketing to people who like jazz, or to people who like documentaries, or to people who, whatever, whatever the topic of your film is. If you understand how to use those hashtags, you will get eyes on your thing that you didn't. That's how I found out about, found out about the Blue Note documentary, because I follow so many jazz accounts. And yet you guys spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and years making these labors of love, and then you don't market it properly. Hey, I'll do it for free. Wayne Shorter guy. Dorsey, I will be happy to create the uh, Wayne Shorter Instagram account for you. No cost. Well, you have to invite me to the premiere, of course. I mean, I live in L.A. If and when it ever comes to L.A., of course you have to invite me. I'm, I'm going to get to have to meet Wayne and do another selfie. Um, so anyway, guys, 
these music documentaries are great additions to um, the culture of understanding the history of our great music. So please seek them out. Some of them are on Netflix. Some of them are only available on DVD. Some of them are available on YouTube for free. And uh, I will continue to seek them out, review them when I can for you. But you folks creating them, I wish you'd get your marketing act together. Really. It's not that hard. Ask a 12-year-old. Anything with cleavage can create an Instagram account with a million followers in about two days. And, you know, set up the Instagram account. Set up the Facebook account. Uh, let people know that you made, made the movie. you got to let people know. Is that enough of a rant today? Three very interesting documentaries. Keep your eyes out for them. Hopefully they're coming to a town near you. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you'll get to see them. That's enough ranting for today, guys. Thanks again.